Unit 3, Lesson 1, The Burj Khalifa. Number 1. An elevator travels 310 feet in 10 seconds. At that speed, how far can this elevator travel in 12 seconds? Explain your reasoning. The elevator goes 310 feet in 10 seconds. I'm going to divide the seconds by 10 to make it just one second. Now I'm going to divide the feet by 10. And I do this by scooting the decimal over once. So I know that it travels 31 feet in one second. So if I want to know how far it can travel in 12 seconds, I can multiply 31 times 12, or I can add 31 seconds twice to 310 feet because 310 10 feet is how far it goes in 10 seconds and there's two more seconds to make a total of 12 seconds that's 372 so the elevator can travel 372 feet in 12 seconds the elevator travels 372 feet in 12 seconds. Number two, Han earns $33 for babysitting four hours. At this rate, how much will he earn if he babysits for seven hours? Explain your reasoning. $33 every four hours. I'm going to divide four by four to make one hour, and I have to divide 33 by four. Four goes into 33 eight times. Eight times four is 32. 33 minus 32 is one. So we have one fourth, eight and one fourth. When you're talking about money, that's the same as eight dollars and one quarter. So eight twenty-five per hour. Eight dollars and twenty-five cents for each hour work. The question asks, how much will he earn for babysitting seven hours? So we could do seven times 825, or I already know that he's making $33 for four hours. We need to add three more hours to four hours to make it seven hours. In other words, we need to add 825 three times to 33. So this is how much he's going to make in three hours. We can add that to the four hours. So in three hours, we'll make 24.75. In four hours, he makes 33. Three hours plus four hours is seven hours. So seven hours worth of work, he will earn $57.75. Number three, the cost of five cans of dog food is $4.35. At this price, how much do 11 cans of dog food cost? Explain your reasoning. Five cans plus five cans plus one more can is going to equal 11 cans. So if five cans of dog food cost $4.35, we have five cans for $4.35 plus another five cans at $4.35 plus however much one can costs. That will give us the amount for 11 cans. Or we can do $4.35 divided by five and then multiply that times 11. I'm actually going to add these together. I'm going to get $8.70. That's how much it would be for 10 cans. These 10 cans. And if this is how much it is for 10 cans, if I make it 10 times smaller, 87 cents, 87 cents for one can, then I can add 10 plus 1 to get 11 cans and $8.70 plus 87 cents. It should cost $9.57 for 11 cans of dog food. So I think it would cost $9.57 for 11 cans of dog food. I want to double check that. 5 goes into 4 zero times. 5 goes into 43 eight times. 8 times 5 is 40. 43 minus 40 is 3. Bring down the 5. How many times does 5 go into 35? 7. 7 times 5 is 35. And we have no remainder. So we just figured out that it's 87 cents per can and we need to find the cost for 11 cans. 87 cents times 11, we get $9.57 for 11 cans, which is what we got the first time. Number four, a restaurant has 26 tables in its dining room. It takes the wait staff 10 minutes to clear and set four tables. At this rate, how long will it take the wait staff to clear and set all the tables in the dining room? Explain your reasoning. So here I've counted by four, and on the minute side, I've counted by 10. This side here is the number of tables cleared, and this side here is the amount of time. So in one hour or 60 minutes, the wait staff can clear 24 tables. 
Well, there's two more tables left. So instead of counting by four, now I'm just gonna add two. So it becomes 26 tables, 26 tables. And since I only added two instead of four, two is half of four, I'm going to add half of 10. Half of 10 is five. 60 plus five is 65. It takes 65 minutes to clear 26 tables. And my explanation was in my chart. Number five. A sandwich shop serves four ounces of meat and three ounces of cheese on each sandwich. After making sandwiches for an hour, the shop owner has used 91 combined ounces of meat and cheese. A. How many combined ounces of meat and cheese are used on each sandwich? Well, there's four ounces and three ounces. So four ounces of meat plus three ounces of cheese is a combined seven ounces. B. How many sandwiches were made in the hour? So 91 combined slices of meat and cheese divided by the total number of ounces of meat and cheese so it's going to be 91 divided by 7 and that's going to be 13 13 sandwiches were made in the hour see how many ounces of meat were used that's going to be 13 multiplied by 4 because there were 4 ounces of meat for each one 13 times 4 is 52 C and then finally D how many ounces of cheese well that's going to be 13 times 3 13 times 3 is 39 so there were 39 ounces of cheese used to make 13 sandwiches Number six, here is a flower made up of yellow hexagons, red trapezoids, and green triangles. A, how many copies of this flower pattern could you build if you had 30 yellow hexagons, 50 red trapezoids, and 60 green triangles? So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need six of these yellow hexagons to make one flower. Let's count the red trapezoids. One, two, you need two red trapezoids to make one flower. And then let's count these little green triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine of those. So if we had 30 of these yellow hexagons, 30 divided by six, equals five. At the very most, we'd be able to make five because we have enough of these yellow shapes to make five flowers. But we have to make sure that we have enough of the other items to also make five flowers. If we had 50 red trapezoids, we would definitely, if we had 50 of these, we definitely have enough to make five flowers. So we can still make five flowers. We can't make any more than five flowers because we're limited in the number of yellow shapes that we have. They've given us 60 green triangles. 60 divided by nine. 60 divided by nine. So if it's at least five, then we'll be able to make five. And I'm sure it is. How many times does nine go into 60? It goes in six times. Six times nine. Six times nine. That's like six less than six times ten. And six times ten is sixty. So sixty minus six is fifty-four. We can do at least six. We have more than enough of these red shapes and more than enough of these green shapes to do five, but we're limited with these yellow shapes to only doing five. So the magic number right there is five. Of which shape would you have the most left over? In my opinion, we would have the most left over of these little red shapes because we only need two for each flower and they gave us 50. The red trapezoids are the shapes that we have the most left over. Number seven. Match each quantity in the first list with an appropriate unit of measurement from the second list. A. The perimeter of a baseball field. So they're asking for the perimeter, so that's actually like the length or a distance. So it's not going to be anything that's squared. It's not going to be anything that's cubed. Cubed, that's going to represent volume and squared is going to represent area. So right now we have to decide, is the perimeter of the baseball field better measured by these little centimeters or better measured by these larger meters? And of course I'm gonna say the larger meters. So A would be four. The perimeter of a baseball field would be measured in meters. B, the area of a bed sheet. So we're looking for an area. So we're gonna come down here and a bed sheet, I'm gonna go with square feet 
because later on they asked for the area of a tissue box and the surface area of the moon. Feet would be better for the bed sheet than a tissue box. I'm gonna jump down here to the tissue box and connect that one to the inches. Jump down here to the moon and do the area of the moon with the kilometers. Let's go back to C, the volume of a refrigerator. Let's go to cubic feet. The length of a spaghetti noodle. The length of a spaghetti noodle would be centimeters. And then finally, the volume of a large lake. That's gonna be cubic kilometers. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 3, Lesson 1, The Burj Khalifa.